All right, we're going to try and do a quick video here on how to tie a fly pattern called a parachute Madam X. I'll try and get one up here so you can maybe see it. Uh, kind of a neat pattern. Um, having a hard time figuring out how to do this in front of this camera, but uh, anyway, here, here's, here's what we're going to be tying. Is a, it's called a parachute Madam X. Um, really good attractor pattern. Uh, for trout um, in the summertime whenever the um, grasshopper stuff like that's hitting the water so it's really good for that uh, we're going to tie this uh, with using olive um, 70 denier UTC thread we're going to need a small piece of this here's a burnt orange uh, furnace uh, style uh, hackle, need some rubber legs, a little bit of peacock curl, and a little bit of deer hair. Uh, this here's um, just it comes this way, uh, just kind of a natural natural deer hair. Um, so we're going to need need a little bit of that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start this off with a, just a regular jam knot. Start your thread on there. Then work your thread in spirals, kind of going back a little bit, and then come back up. Just kind of give you a little thread base. And you want to be about three to four um, eyes uh, back uh, to start this. Then you're going to take a piece, some, some of your deer hair, a little short section of it. We're going to take the deer hair. We're going to stack it. Put it in your in your stacker here. Uh, get it in there. Tap it. Stack it. Bring it up here. Bring it out. And all that does, what this does is when you're stacking it, is it gets your, your the tip ends all to be roughly the same length. Okay? Um, this here's kind of got a little little twist to it, but we're going to take that out here. We're going to take this, and we want to measure this to be just about a quarter of the shank of the hook, and that's where you're going to tie it in at to the back. But you want you 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 want to come up here and trim it just a little bit longer than that because you're going to uh, trim it off kind of square like that, and then you're going to bring it in here and you're going to tie it off. couple loose wraps, tighten it down, and then hold up on it, and that kind of helps keep it uh, stay into the top of the hook, because you want this to ride on top of your hook, and you want to bring this back till you get to the hook point, and that's going to be, that's going to be your tail. So we're going to kind of work this through, then we want to reach in here and trim this a little bit, kind of trim some of the fluff off of it. So then we can take and clean this up a little bit. Then we're going to take some UTC, uh, or well, I don't know if this is UTC. This is Unifloss in a red. We're going to take a pretty good uh, amount of it because it's going to take quite a bit. We're going to tie that in. Kind of tie it in, pull it back there a little bit, tie it down real good. And then I always throw in a half hitch just to kind of secure things, especially whenever I'm going to be using the rotary function of my vise. Then you want to start, kind of come up to where you're going to stop, which is about that that uh, three to four eye length, uh, eyes back, and then come back just to kind of start your taper. And then try and get as many of them hairs pulled down as you can as you come up through here. You're probably not going to get all of them, but you can get most of them. Kind of cover everything up as good as you possibly can. And you really, oops, I lost it. Ah, 
really lost it then. Try and make as smooth a body as you can until you get it up here. And tie it off. It's not the best body I've ever done, but it'll work because you're going to primarily cover it up anyways. What this is going to do is it's going to give you, and you can do this with whatever color threads you want to use. You can use uh, red, blue, yellow, uh, whatever kind of floss you want to use. Then you're going to take about the same amount. About a when you're when you're when you're cutting your hair, you want to you want to try and get. And I've got everything in the front of the camera here. Um, let's see if I can get it around this way. You want a, about a pencil size when you pull it up off of your uh, hide here to, to clip off. You don't want to overdo it on these. Uh, you kind of pull the under fur out, but you want, to, want about that much um, about the size of a lead pencil body um, and again you stack it put it in your stacker sorry whenever I hit that it makes the camera vibrate I ain't got the best system here for taking videos yet but I'm, I'm working on it got one loose one here all right, so now you're gonna you're gonna want to measure this to where you've got roughly about half the wing coming back about halfway back on your tail, okay? So you're gonna find that point, and then you're gonna pinch off right where you're gonna the length of where you're gonna tie it in at, and trim it straight, straight and smooth like that, okay? Then you're gonna bring that part up here. And you're going to get right here where you're going to tie it in at. One loose wrap and you pull down and, and holding up on it so that it doesn't slide around the, the, the hook. Until you just see that thread disappear, do it again. And there you have a perfect wing. This, works, this, this method works good for elk hair caddises, all kinds of things. Um, gives you a perfect... Uh, placement all you don't want you want everything to be on the up upper pot side of the hook and as you can see here everything stayed to the to the top side of the hook um, so this this is how you tie in your wing on this elk hair caddises whatever um, then on this one you're going to go ahead and come back through this hair and clean it up a little bit okay and you'll have to forgive me i'm kind of new at this doing these uh, got a couple of air strands here kind of new at doing these videos so I've got a little I'm a little uh uh and stuff like that when I tie so just bear with me Take a couple of these little pieces out that's going to be giving me troubles here all right come back here and clean that up and you want to go just just back just a little bit to kind of make that wing lay down around that. See how it, it kind of lays down now instead of just sticking straight up? Uh, you want you want that to be be kind of laid down. So you come back up here till you're about an eye's uh, eye length back from the, the eye of your hook. Tie it in and I caught a bunch of hair there when I did that. So I have to trim that out. All right, now you're going to take your para post material. This is para wing. It comes on a on a card. Um, might have this in a little bit. It comes on a on a card like this. It's a, a kind of a neat material. Um, makes makes parachute wings. Trim you off a piece of it. You don't want to get too much of it because it gets hard to work with. But you want a piece about oh two inches or so long. And then you take and you, you tie this in. Like this. Okay. A couple wraps that away. Come around. A couple wraps this away. 
then right in front of it grab these come behind it I'm going to kind of try and hold that down as much as possible kind of build up around and in front of it just tying it in good you can kind of come back through again if you want and then grab them like this and then you're going to start wrapping up and I'm up the post till you get a little ways up it okay then you start working your thread back back down you keep working her down till you get her down there to the back to the bottom and this is your post that you're building Once you get it down to the bottom, take a few more wraps front and around. You can kind of come back here like this, work it back up, come back down, work it in there till you get that secured real good. Okay? Next, you're going to take and pick, pick you out a piece of your hackle. You want this hackle to be wrap it around your post here this one's kind of crowded a little bit but wrap it around your post and you want your your barbels to come back about halfway back on that wing there and these always got a little bit of fluff down here on the bottom of the feather uh, you want to take that fluff and stroke it back trim that off like that then pull some of the barbels off till you got bare stem like that. Okay, you're going to tie this. I always tie them convex side down so that they're pointing down. You come in here and you tie right in behind the hook, capture it real or the the hook eye, capture it real good. Work your way back, reach over here and grab your post and everything them feathers back out of your way because they're going to be a problem if you don't come over like this to the back side and then start wrapping up and around your what you're trying to do is you're trying to capture your feather and your hook shank or, or your parapost on that thread dam that you built so you work it Work it up the post till you get to the top, and then you start working back down. And that secures your feather to the post. So now you got your post sticking up here and everything like this. Okay? Let me see if I can get this kind of back to. Uh, there, that'll work better. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to build, well, Next thing I need to do is actually I need to put my uh, bring your thread to the back back here to your uh, where your last tie-in point was where you uh, right here uh, next to your thread base and take you a couple of peacock curls take a couple peacock curls. Well, sorry, getting the head, getting the cart before the horse here. You're going to take your rubber legs, cut one off about half, about half of the strip. You want about half of it, and then just take and bend them in the middle, and cut them equal into equal equal parts so that you have two equal parts. These are your legs. Okay, you're going to take the first one. And I just take and just hook it right here underneath the thread, pull it up, pull it over. Now my first leg, got my thread just a little bit too far forward. Bring that back here just a little bit. Get it, get it positioned where you want it. Tie it down, couple, couple thread wraps, and your first leg is down. Then you do the same thing on the opposite side, only this time you're going to take, you're going to hold it up here, 
work your fingers in here and get everything worked down. Get this out of your way. Kind of pull it up. That's where you can kind of get everything out of your way. That's a little hard to do sometimes. You then capture that leg with a couple thread wraps and reposition your leg, make sure you get it where you want it. Okay, then you're going to take and pull your two legs back and run two or three threads in the front of them to kind of help hold them back. All right, then, and I forgot to get my lead here. Let me grab my lead. All right, I'm going to take this O2O lead, just lead wire, and I'm going to pull all these legs and everything back. And then I'm going to take and secure them back by wrapping this lead around them to help hold them in place. And that's going to keep them back out of the way and out of my out of my way here. And then I'm going to got a few errant strands of stuff that I don't want, so I'm going to clip them out. You can always clip stuff out if you find stuff's giving you troubles. All right, so then you're going to advance to the front by the eye. Tie in your two peacock curls. And then I'm going to half hitch that so I don't lose everything. You can always throw half hitches in so that you don't lose your what you're working on. Okay, then you're going to start wrapping this in front and behind and just form you a little peacock uh, hurl ball here. Then when you're satisfied with it, tie it off. This is forming the thorax, is what you're th what you're doing here. Then reach in here and half hitch it so you don't lose it. I may have lost one. If I did. All right. So now you're going to come back over here on this side of your thread. I lost a couple of my peacock curls, so I was trying to tie them back in there. You're going to leave your thread hanging behind, behind here so that you can wrap your hackle around, and then we'll catch it here in just a second. And so here you start, pull this down, kind of get all your get all your barbels kind of started here on your thread on your para post here. And then you start wrapping this thing right around that post. And you're going to want to wrap this each time going underneath the last wrap. And you want to do this about five times, four times, something like that, trying, trying to not capture everything. Then you bring your thread up and slide it under everything and capture that like that. You're going on top of the hook but underneath all them barbels of that 
hackle that you just tied down until you get a couple wraps around it. And that, that captures your, your hackle here to where it's not going to unravel. Then you take, I use an extended whip finisher, but uh, take your whip finisher and you come in here. And again, you're going to work those right along and around that post instead of going around the hook shank. So you're actually whip finishing around the post. And you work that around all them little barbels till you get it to where you want it. And then you pull it up tight. Clip your thread off. Reach in here and clip out your stem on your hackle. Then you want to trim your post. Reach up here and usually I go about all oh, three eighths of an inch or so. Uh, you can always, it's always better to go a little, little big like that. And then that way if you want to trim it down later, you can. That ain't too bad right there. Uh, this one here needs to be kind of fluffed out. This kind of wrapped together. Um, well, if I could find my bodkin, here's my bodkin. Take your bodkin, kind of string that out. It's It's got something there kind of holding it together. There. Kind of like that. Unwrap your legs here and hope that you ain't spun them around. I've got a real bad habit of these things kind of spinning around on me. Reposition them how you want them. A couple of barbels there that needs to be trimmed. Alright, trim your legs just a little bit shorter in the front than in the back. Don't have to be real bad. Um, short, just kind of shorter in the front than in the back. Then pull your wing, kind of grab it and kind of pull it up into position here. And that is a how you tie my version of a parachute Madam X. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll get better on these videos. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one.